Okay, guys. Uh, good evening, to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Is yesterday we discussed about. Okay, what we have discussed yesterday? Anyone tell me? Uh, ledger, ledger non leading ledgers. Ledgers, leading ledger, non leading ledger. Parallel accounting. What is parallel accounting? Yes, tell me. What is parallel accounting? Any transaction is posted with the leading ledger, it will be stored another ledger also. OK, so that means. So even uh, the gap local gap, so if, if you are posted through a local gap and uh, it is also stored in the another ledger means uh, another gap. So same transaction will be stored in different ledgers. That is called as. Yeah, um, parallel accounting. OK. So yesterday what we have discussed again, I'm telling you. OK, so FINC underscore ledger. This is the T code FINC underscore ledger. OK, this is the uh, T code. <coughs> See this entire S4 HANA concept completely depends upon the ledger concept only. So leading ledgers are non leading ledgers also there in S4 HANA, right? Leading non leading extension ledger. Extension ledger always link with the underlying ledger. Underlying ledger means OM, OK? So extension ledger is linked with OL. OL is underlying ledger. OK, so whatever the transaction posted through OL ledger, that is also stored in the extension ledger also. OK, so as for HANA, we have leading non leading extension ledgers. So we as per the client requirement, we need to define these ledgers in this place. OK, so the, your client will say uh, ledger and accounting principle both are interlinked. So that is the reason you need to assign the accounting principles. OK. Accounting principle also. So how many types of currencies are company code, controlling area, group currency, hard currency, index basis, global currency? OK, so two are local currency and global currency and eight are freely defined currencies are in the SAP system. OK, eight freely defined currencies are there, right? I should have also shown you how to post uh, through leading uh, non leading ledger also I have uh, shown it, right? So this is local and global remaining or freely defined <coughs> ledgers three for material ledger. So two for controlling two for profits and record and two for asset accounting. So that you can say to the interviewer. OK, and uh, this configuration actually I, I clearly explain. OK, all ledgers should be linked with your company codes. OK, and your company code is linked with the accounting principle. So here we need to specify accounting principle also. This ledger is linked with the company code and here it is linked with the again company code is linked with accounting. But this is the combination. So you need to check with your client. So what is the combination? Uh, combination is there. So leading ledger and accounting principles. So what is accounting principles? US gap, local gap, OK, IFRS, tax rate. So these are all accounting related stuff, right? So um, this is very important. Uh, we need to understand. So if you are not done this configuration, that means you will find the different kind of errors in the posting kind of errors. Posting errors will come. So because of full ledger concept is not applied. 
so that is the reason so first you uh, up to gl accounting uh, everything is fine okay there is a, not much difference right the chart of account is same chart of account there is something is different uh, is there so earlier the cost elements uh, creation is manual and uh, automatic that option was removed as for hana and ob52 uh, controlling periods we can open right so two changes are there up to gl account and the next change is uh, uh, business partner concept that was completely uh, replaced with the re replaced uh, the ecc ex01 xk02 xk03 okay so yeah xd01 xt01 xt0 these are all t codes are uh, terminated right uh, last time i explained business partner concept then next asset accounting this is the main difference okay uh, now you just uh, yesterday also i shown you in asset accounting what is the major difference we have seen in afab so in afab so we need to see the information parameters uh, for company code right so these things are already discussed again telling you for your understanding so uh, so this is a uh, posting period this is the last one right information for posting period last uh, uh, period also we can see previous details also we can see in this information for posting parameters so total uh, total log detail log total log you will see um, you will see so accumulated depreciation only this is accumulated so this is segregation okay this is segregation two assets and uh, detailed log you will see detailed information okay detailed log you will see detailed information i already told you okay and uh, uh, for no output means uh, the, there is no output uh, if you want to see then no output all time we need to uh, remove this test run and need to execute then uh, so depression should be posted okay so this is the major difference in s4 hana and this program is changed right uh, for ecs as uh, rya post 2000 program but in, uh, but in case of s4 hana different program is there so all your asset accounting details will be stored in the ac docket table so so your bseg is changed completely okay so ac docket table all asset accounting related uh, information will be stored right okay Uh, check out the entries are there 500 and 92299 entries are there if you want to see the recent transaction so here just uh, double click on this okay this is the recent post now if you want to open this okay so uh, double click on this you will find this uh, transaction 15072022 so here there are two types of views this is entry view whatever the transaction you posted that is entry view and we have one more ledger view also there see this is general ledger view once i explained about the document splitting concept you will come to know what is the document split okay so just double click on this so here you can see entry view date and post segment okay once the document splitting concept is activated then now you just go to general ledger accounting so here you can see segment should be balanced and profit center should be balanced every line item should be balanced with the segment and profit center that is document splitting concept so in entry view you can see posted with you posted just this this line and this transaction you didn't give the segment okay um, you didn't give the line item for profit center but uh, once you activate the general uh, once you activate the document splitting concept and you activate the uh, all the configurations in the document splitting Um, then what happens in uh, so just now go to general ledger view so every line item should be balanced with the segment and profit center for reporting perspective document should be uh, document splitting concept should be used so um, this is document splitting okay so every line item should be balanced every line item should be balanced if line item is not there here the segment is blank then document splitting concept error will come in real time okay so because uh, here uh, for this company code document splitting is uh, activated and they have done configuration that is the reason so you can see segment and profit centers both so there are two types of views we have one is entry view and second one is ledger view so in ledger view we can see how the document is splitted with the segment and the profit center okay so document splitting will be happen to profit wise and profit center wise and segment wise all the line items should be splitted like this okay so that concept i will tell you because you know you don't aware what is profit center and all 
segment and also that is the reason so i will explain this concept after uh, profit center accounting i will tell you the document spreading concept but just now understand that there are two types of views in sap so one is a general ledger view and second one is a um, entry view so right now you have seen the entry view okay and another one is general ledger view in general ledger view you can see all the line items should be balanced with the segment and profit center document spitting is uh, only for segment and profit center and business area okay so this is all balanced this is the correct entry in real time okay so for what you have posted that is not correct because you haven't given any assignments assignments you haven't given like cost centers are not giving and profit centers are not there and segments are not there and you, you, you also not taken business area also just we are posting the dummy entries uh, for, because we didn't apply the controlling module right but once we activated all the cost centers profit centers and uh, then you will find uh, um, this kind of entries in real time okay so and other ledgers if you want to see the ledger wise information so here uh, these are all ledgers are linked with this company code 2001 if you want to see extension ledger information we can see over here if you want to see like uh, other ledgers like non leading ledgers also we can see over here okay so so this company code should be this company code should be ledger link with ledgers and this ledger link with the uh, accounting principles okay there are three types of uh, uh, led, uh, there are three kind of three kinds of not to three say we can say many more ledgers are there as for hana leading ledger non leading ledger extension ledger underlying ledger extension ledger is linked with the underlying ledger right all the transaction posted through under uh, uh, ol ol is the leading ledger it is also stored in the another ledgers that is called as a parallel accounting parallel accounting right so entry view means general entry what you have posted so you, have, you haven't given segment and you haven't given the profit center but in general ledger view you can see the total uh, it should be balanced that is called as document splitting concept okay so document is splitted so how the document should be splitted based on the segment and based on the profit center wise document should be splitted okay all the line items should be balanced okay at the time of document splitting okay and uh, this concept is also linked with the general ledger so here so list of uh, other ledgers also there so in s4 hana so we can uh, um, so we can uh, first we as a fic as s4 hana consultant first you need to understand the business requirement how many leading non leading extension uh, ledgers are required so so based on that you need to do the configuration and then the next step would be um, you need to link with accounting principles okay you can also post the transaction ledger group wise also okay so last time i already showed you right okay this is the way uh, you can explain to the interviewer so if the interviewer main focus is how many types of ledgers tell me okay this is first question tell me how many currency types in s4 hana comparing to ecc that is second question tell me the business partner configuration third question tell me what why business partner concept was introduced fourth question tell me what is the hc docket table and what kind of data will be stored fourth fifth question so um, uh, tell me ac docket uh, yes, uh, tell me yes, uh, as uh, uh, active methodology okay this is a very important question okay tell me what are the changes in new asset accounting very important question tell me uh, uh, the, what is uh, so, the, tell me what see at least you can explain these things to the interviewer that's more than sufficient okay remaining configuration whatever you are doing ecc there, there is nothing different the same you can find it okay in s4 and also same thing else there i already shared you one document uh, configuration kit configuration document 1909 version okay that's more than enough okay so your side is uh, Whatever the difference, AC docket is completely stored, right? You can explain AC docket for five minutes, okay? And you explain about the leading ledger concept uh, five minutes. You can explain the new asset accounting twenty five minutes, okay? So I explained uh, so uh, depression, complete depression, right? So I just go.